Hey Libra, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, let's get into this. Three cards for Libra. What's going on in your love life, in your connection? We have overloads. Over here, dealing with the Sagittarius. We have blind. Some of you are dealing with another Libra. Hmm. And then we have compromise. So we have number 67, number 9, and number 33. Hmm. With merit making, number 64, goodness, humanness, and morality. Some of you could be connected to a Taurus, another Libra, or a Sagittarius. Okay. This is this is definitely giving me there's three people here. Some kind of third party situation, one masculine, two feminines. All right. So hmm. I feel like a lot of you could be dealing with someone who works a lot or either told you they were working a lot. But I feel like they were doing something that you did not know. You were not aware of. Could have been using work as a scapegoat, as a cover. Could have been dealing with someone at work. You could have found out about this third party. You could have had a conflict with them, an argument with them, some kind of conversation with them. And I feel like your person is wanting to apologize to you and make it right. Okay. Let's get into this. Why do we have these cards? Show me Overload. Overload is like the um, Ten of Wands, which talks about a burden, stress, um, being burned out, getting to your wits end, feeling taken for granted. So these are all of the things that could be going on. You could feel like you were carrying the weight in the relationship. Or like I said, this person was acting like they were working a lot. Or maybe they were. And they still have made time for someone else. Yeah, look at this. You are definitely in a commitment with this person. Taurus, and then we have Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of you found out this person was married. You found out you might have been the person they were cheating with. You could have been the third party, Libra. Someone's in a commitment, and something has come out, some kind of clarity, some kind of aha moment. Somebody could have been overloaded because they were trying to maintain two relationships. I feel like somebody was using work as a scapegoat. Show me blind. So you didn't see this coming, but you got clarity now. Ace of Wands in reverse. Some of you were dealing with someone promiscuous, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Look at this. You cannot make it up. Sex. This person is addicted to sex. Some of you didn't know this. Hmm, a Capricorn, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. The, the devil is all about the seven deadly sins. Toxicity, dysfunction, um, selfishness. It could even be abuse. It could be um, just not ca caring about how they make you feel. Everything is about them. This is a person chained and tied and bound to the devil in some capacity. They could be materialistic. It, it could be anything. Literally anything. Anything toxic or dysfunctional. And it's coming out with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So a lot of you... Um, I don't think you have any desire for this person anymore because of what they did to you. Some of you got turned off. But this person has been... Y'all have had a connection where the, the fire, the flame was really hot and then it burns out quickly. So we compromise. So they want to reconcile with you. Some of you, this could be a king to them. Will of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Or oh, this has been an emotional roller coaster for you. And then we got the page of wands. Yeah, they're about to communicate about reconciling with you. I feel like quickly they're coming to reconcile, to come in and um, reconcile with you. They want to turn things around in the positive now. It'll be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. All right. This is a message coming in. Could be something passionate. They could be thinking they could still come at you with the same energy. But I do feel like some of you are humbling this person. Two of Wands. They may be thinking about actually committing now. Could be an Aries and making things official with you going long term. Um, yeah, let's get some messages from them to you. Okay. What? What do you want? Some of you are going to be like, what do you want? We have be more selfish. A lot of you are setting better boundaries. We have I would do anything for you. The number 10. We have the number 4. April 10th could be significant. We have the number 9. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. Um, this person has a tendency to fall in and out of love with people. It is possible they are still infatuated with you. They love being around you. You have fun with them. Bottom of the deck. 
I still don't have all the answers. And this is why they're in this two of wands energy. They're at a crossroads, trying to figure out what they need to do moving forward. Let's get a couple of these. Lord. Three cards for Libra Spirit. What do they need to know about this connection and moving forward? Three cards. Oh, the three is four. Some of you, they cheated online. Look at this heartbreak and some kind of message online. Could have found out through social media that they were cheating. Could be another Libra or this is just your energy. King of Swords, yeah. It's time for y'all to be head over heart. Put your own energy and strength. Hold back. Oh, I can't show this card. A lot of them were into some, some kind of weird sex thing. Because look at what she's doing. I don't even know. Yeah, some of you have a family, but this person could be married. This is Pisces energy. We got Leo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But look at the problem here. This is what you were blind to. You were blind to the fact that they were carrying on other sexual relationships, right? Because they have some kind of addiction. And then look what we have this person doing. It's a woman spanking a man. <laughs> I'm going to cover his butt. But look at what she's doing to him. This person was into some kind of freaky stuff and you found out. You, you saw it. You got clarity. We started with the Ace of Swords. You got clarity about this third party. It broke your heart. And a lot of you just don't want anything to do with this person anymore. All right, Libra. Um, Spirit is telling you to be head over heart. You may be tempted to want to give into this person. I can't tell y'all what to do. If you want them back, it's your right to take them back. But it looks like your your advice is to not let your head rule your I mean your heart rule your head. Let it be the other way around. Be sure. Like, comment, subscribe.